I'm trying this new concept, this new uh, German uh, language learning concept that I thought of uh, might be uh, useful. Uh, I know it'll be useful whether it'll be appreciated is another uh, matter. But uh, whether this would be uh, appreciated or, or actually uh, attract, you know, frankly speaking, I obviously want viewers, uh, more viewers on YouTube uh, equals uh, more success and so on. We all know how that goes. But anyway, uh, so this is the concept. Uh, this is this, what you're think. What you're seeing uh, right here on the screen is a is a, I was watching the German uh, the the big uh, li uh, big uh, national uh, station is uh, DW in Germany Deutsche Welle. This is in German. This broadcast I was watching was not in English. Well, they they do an English broadcast as well. But uh, this is what my uh, concept was. Uh, so. Uh, I'm big on with languages, uh, so the, the the student doesn't get uh, overwhelmed, whether it be the uh, beginning, intermediate, or advanced student. In order that the student does not get overwhelmed, just concentrate on one phrase at a time, uh, so that uh, is not as overwhelming. Where, uh, so even even with this little snippet right here, I could have tried, you know tried to analyze the whole. Uh, the whole sentence, which is quite, you can see it's quite long. But rather than doing that, we're going to concentrate just on the uh, first part of the sentence because it's a useful, I, f I feel it's a useful uh, phrase that uh, one uh, would want to learn and one should learn uh, while studying German. So let's get into it. Uh, so today's phrase on this particular uh, video that I made, is we're just going to concentrate on that first part of the sentence because it's a useful uh, expression and that is und das hat mich entelesiert so uh, just a very simple phrase there but it's useful so that's why we're uh, you, that's why we're uh, concentrating on that so uh, in German it's und das hat mich entelesiert which means in English and that's what interested me Und das hat mich interessiert. Das hat mich interessiert. Now, if you're an advanced German student, uh, I don't have to concentrate so much on the pronunciation because you probably, or you're at this stage of the game, you already know your pronunciation. So uh, just the uh, structure of it uh, and, uh, you know, the composition of that phrase uh, and to see it and to appreciate the usefulness of the phrase. Uh, so, und das hat mich interessiert. That's what interested me. We're just going to look at that on this video. And uh, I will be uh, putting together uh, future videos of this type, and we'll see what kind of response we get. 